In this video, I'm showing you how to install an awesome LCD upgrade to your ANIT A8 3D printer. Come and join me. Hello, welcome to the Crosslink channel. My name is Daniel. On this channel, I post videos about 3D printing, gadget reviews and more. So this video is a step-by-step -step guide how to install this cool LCD upgrade. We are going to walk through um, the software installation and the hardware installation to get this thing going. So let's start with step number one, which is changing the Marlin firmware configuration to match the LCD display that we're going to install. In our case, it's a 12864 LCD display. I strongly recommend getting this one and it's the original one that comes with the ANIT A6. If you want to know how to install the latest version of the Marlin firmware to your printer, please go and watch my other video that I've linked up here, which explains all the necessary prerequisites and the whole process to get the firmware on the printer. I'm not going to cover this here in depth. I'm only going to show you the configuration changes that you will need to do to the base firmware. So we, before we can upload the new firmware to the printer, we need to do some changes to the configuration file. Um, first of all, make sure you have the necessary libraries installed. With this display, you will need a special library, UHGLib. So if you don't have it installed yet, go and install the UHGLib library. It's needed for this display. After this, um, open up the configuration.h of the Marlin firmware. And um, to make this easier, I'm going to enable line numbers and go to the line 1573. This might be a little bit different depending on your configuration file, but there is a setting that is called Define Zone Star LCD that you have to disable. So comment that out. And then let's go down to the line 755 around about and uncomment of this um, ANIT full graphics LCD setting. This is the only change that is needed to enable this display. So that's everything that is needed to get this display working. However, there's also a little beeper on the display, uh, so we can also enable that. So look for the beeper setting. And this setting is to be found in line 1509. Um, it's called Define Speaker. So uncomment that too, and we should be ready to go. So in the next step, you will power on your printer and upload the firmware. I'm going to skip that step and go right into the hardware installation. So the new firmware has been uploaded to the printer. And if you wanna know how to do this in general and how to configure for the ANIT A8, check out my Marlin firmware upgrade guide here. Um, so let's start into the hardware installation. By the way, if you want to know how to get this LCD display, um, I put a link in the description down below. So check it out. The first thing that we need to do is uninstall and unplug the old display. Basically, you can check it out here. There is um, your plug that goes into the display connector. We just need to unplug this cable from the main board. Um, I'm going to uninstall it later, so I'm going to leave it for now. And we have two new cables that come with the new display. They are around, around about 40 centimeters long. So if you want more distance um, from the printer for your display, you can get longer ones. I've put also a link in the description down below. So this one is, for example, around about a meter, so it should be fine. And plugging them into the right connector is important, so check it out. These cables come with some labels. The first one is called LCD, so let's plug that cable into the LCD connector on the main board. And the second cable is labeled J3, which is also a connector on your main board. That's labeled J3, so let's plug it in there. On the back side of your display, you will find the same labels LCD and J3. So go and plug those cables accordingly in there. And now we can turn on the printer. So you can see the display seems to be working. Uh, we can push the turnable knob to go into the menu and then we can push it again to go down another level in the menu. Don't mistake this button, this is not a back button, it's actually a reset button. 
and if you push it the printer gets reset so be careful not to hit this button mistakenly during prints that happened to me already um, it's a little bit of a pity so we need to do something about that but first let's get a nice housing for this display and print it out I've done that already um, this is the housing it's a really nice thing so we can mount the display inside of this housing um, to make it look even nicer and to have some yeah cover for the display not to touch the electronics so let's do that in the next step so I'm going to mount this quickly into the housing uh, using these screws and then connect the cables and we should be done. So that looks pretty awesome I guess. So let's finally install this turnable knob. Check out we can push it. So it should make a nice sound. Yeah, that's, that sounds great. And install the cables finally. Just make sure you do the right cables into the right slot. Let's do a final test and switch on the printer. Yeah, that seems to work. So I hope everything is working now for you using your cool new display. Have fun with it. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. Also consider subscribing to my channel and also hit the bell if you wanna get notified when I post a new video. And I hope to see you next time on this channel for a new video about 3D printing gadget reviews and more. Have fun, bye bye.